Hey guys, just playing some more games with Zekrom. Um, I will switch around with decks, I'm just really enjoying this one right now, so <laughs> figured I'd try and get some games in. Upload whatever I can. And I go first. Alrighty. Got a cleffa and a horsey. So, I will play the double. Play the plus power. And Professor Oak's new theory. Okay, um, I think I'll hold off on the dual ball just in case I draw another energy and need to attach to for whatever reason, so, uh, I will go ahead and outrage. Then knock out Cleffa. Then he plays a collector. Gets two Magnemites and a Yanma, so he's definitely playing Yanmega Magnazone with Kingdra in there. And he attaches one energy to Magnemite and plays Switch. And passes. Okay, let's think here. It's got 50 HP. I'm gonna knock out that Magnemite with the energy as soon as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the lightning. And um Poke Gear. We get a Professor Oak. And um I think I'll junk arm for the plus power just just to play it just in case. I don't know. You never know. And then play Professor Oak's new theory. Hmm. Well. Oh my goodness, let's think. I'll go ahead and play a dual ball, because I have a collector for next turn. Go ahead and get Zekrom and Tornadus. Wow. Two of my Zekroms must be prized. And I'll bench them both. Oops. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll just outrage. Ugh, it's not working right. Well, there's one of my prized Zekroms. At this point, though, I'd really like some energy. Some energy and a catcher. There's a twins. Probably get a candy to Magnazone. And that's gonna put me in trouble. Yup. So he has active magna. Well, magneton and bench magna zone. Only one energy though. Such as a rescue to him. And plays communication. And get 
Jetzt sie ja, ne? Ugh, and a collector. That's not helpful. Alrighty. Well, I will play the defender. <laughs> Even though he's... I don't know. Um... Yeah, at this point there's nothing I can do except outrage. Just used magnetic draw. <laughs> Brings up Yanma. Now he has two benched magnezones. And I need a supporter. Well, that's not a big deal. I can just uh, collect her to shaman and move energy if I have to. But I will need another energy if I want to knock out. If I want any chance of doing any kind of damage to me, there's not really. Think here for a minute. Don't have another lightning. And no way to get one. Ugh, I don't know. I think I'll hold off one... actually... Hmm. Alright, I guess I'll just outrage for now. Probably not a whole lot I can do. All he needs is just to draw one more energy and he can knock out- yep, there it is, knock out my Zekrom. And I do have the benched one, but still, I mean, I don't have any energy or any supporters that I can draw with, so... Whoa, that was a weird glitch. So he evolves to Kingdra. And then magnetic draws. Spray splashes tornadoes. Ugh, the place caster is gonna bring up the ground with energy. That's not good. Plays a communication. Communicates in Magnemite. For a Yanma. Plays the Yanma. Magnetic draws again. Plays another Yanma. And judge. Ugh, I needed that. Two energies, Shaman and Petri too. Nope. <laughs> Did get a Juniper though and a Switch, so I mean Well it doesn't matter, he's gonna knock out Zekrom anyway. Yep.
Let's think about this one. Hmm. Well... Go ahead and Juniper, I guess. Need some lightnings. Okay. So close to... Okay. Because he's not, I don't think he's gonna be able to get three more energy onto Magnezone in his next turn. Um, so I'm probably safe attaching because I don't think Zekrom will get knocked out next turn. Um, just trying to see like who I should, if I should catch her up somebody or. I think I'll bring Kingdra up, because that'll make him waste an energy retreating, and I can slowly do damage to it, so go ahead and Outrage. Attaches one energy to Magnetism. Magnetic draws. Mega. Spray splashes for one. <laughs> and plays copycat. Oh, he gets a switch. Brings up Eon Mega. Brings up his different young mega, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, here's what I'll do. Attach a lightning to Zekrom and then play Professor Oak. Wow. Can't really use any of that. I guess. As long as he draws one more energy, he can, uh, place communication. As long as he gets an energy on this Magnezon, he can easily knock out Zekrom. Communicates in a Magnemite. And then at that point, I'm kind of screwed because Tornadus is weak to lightning, and... I don't know. Didn't he communicate in a Magnemite? <laughs> Must not have what he's looking for in his deck. And there's the extra lightning. <laughs> Spray splashes Tornadus.
magnetic draws. And max out Zekrom. <laughs> I could do I had a pretty slow setup in the beginning. Let's go ahead and play Zekrom. And Zachirisu, yes. Two of them. Shaman, yes. Move them up to Tornadus. Try and get one hit in at least, you never know. Attach for the turn and Juniper. Okay. Can't knock out Magnezone. Uh, no matter how hard I try, I don't have enough plus powers for that. Um, I can knock out. Yanma, Kingdra, or Magnemite. Um, so I think at this point I'll just go for Kingdra so you can just do that additional 10 damage. Go ahead and play plus power. And. And go ahead and hurricane. Oh, well, there's my other Zekrom. Although I don't know there's much I can do at this point. Tornadus is weak to lightning, so I'm gonna probably lose two more energies, because he's got two energies on this Magnezone. He only needs to throw one to knock out Tornadus because of the Spray Splash 10. Oh, he's gonna judge me. Yep. He knocks out Tornadus. <laughs> I will go ahead and attach a double. And... Well, outrage, I guess. I'm hoping he doesn't get another energy, but I mean... Well, let's think. Well, he's gonna copycat for three. Which means he must have had a really crappy hand. He's only thrown three lightning. And he's discarded one. Got a rainbow and a rescue in there also. I mean, the chances of him getting an energy are pretty high. the switch. Any magnetic draws? Place the switch. Oh, 
place junk arm. Gets rid of collector and another collector for a catcher. Oh, he's gonna make things difficult for me. If he plays it, though, yeah, he can't match hands then. Okay, let's think here. I kind of want to stray away from bolt striking um, and doing 40 to myself, because then all he would need is one more energy, um, but if I don't do damage to myself and he brings up his Magnezon, he'll need two more energies to knock me out, or a plus power. Um, has he played any? Does he even play any? I, you know, I don't know. Yeah. No. Thought I saw one. Well, he hasn't played any at this point, and he only has like six cards left, so I don't think he plays plus power. So we'd need a third energy. So, what I think I'm going to do is attach the energy to Zekrom, and um, let's see, how many, one, two, I've only played two catchers, one, one, one junk arm? Okay. I can junk arm for a catcher now, bring up Yanma and take a prize so that I'm even farther ahead in prizes, and hope that I draw... Uh, I don't know. Plus powers. I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do that. Because at this point, um... I don't have any more energy, I don't have any more Zekroms, so kind of a sticky situation. Um, uh, just sucks that I have to... I don't know. I think I'll catch her up his Magnum Zone with no energy. Plays a communication. Communicates in Magnemite. For nothing. Magnetic draws for six. He only has two cards left in his deck. I don't think he's going to be able to take three prizes with two cards in his deck. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Alright, yeah. He's going to take out Zekrom though. Because he's about all I've got at this point. Um, I'll go ahead and play a dual ball. I don't even know what's in my deck. No, get another Zekrom. Um, it's tough because. How many doubles have I played? One, two, three, four, all of them. Okay. In that case, I'm going to attach to Zephram and end my turn. I don't know what I was thinking last turn, guys. I'm an idiot. Sometimes I think I'm so smart and like I'm like, yes, I have this. And then I'm like, wait, what the heck was I even thinking? So feel free to make fun of me. 
So he plays a junk arm. And gets a switch. And he plays the switch. Brings up the Omega. He's not... I don't know what he's gonna do. I don't know if he's gonna copycat into zero or... Go down to zero or whatever, but I don't have any cards in my hand. If he knocks out Shaman here, I'll be in a bit of a pickle. Plays it again, yeah. That's what he's gonna do. And now I'm stuck with Pachirisu. Oh. I would have knocked out the shaman so that I was stuck with an active Pokemon that I can't attack with, but... Oh boy. <laughs> what an intense game. All he needs to do is linear attack the shaman and he's got the win. And all I can do is outrage. 440. So, I mean, we'll go ahead and do it because it's all we can do, but I think he's got this one. Unless there's absolutely no way to get rid of both of those cards in his hand. Can't spell game. Still can't spell game. <laughs> when people concede. I like when they, especially at that point in the game, I like it when people just finish it out, you know. But that was a good game. Um, he, the only reason he lost is because he ran out of cards there. Um, and he couldn't match at the end, but I thought I was done for, to be honest. So, that was a good game. I made some really dumb mistakes and said some really dumb things, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, uh, hey, that's life. You know what I mean? Uh, people make mistakes. So, I'm not disappointed at all with how I played that game. I think it went well, and I think it was a really good game to play. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.